when Bapa Mac died, I remember going through his things, taking the last of his cinnamon Tic Tacs, the one he used to pat in his chest pocket and pass out like candy, and Aramis Cologne, and a metal, gold-plated Playboy membership card, juxtaposing his absence with a piece of humanity that I could hold on to in his empty apartment. After we spread your father's ashes in the Pacific Ocean, which already held his heart before it embraced the rest of him like an old friend finally returning from the tired voyage his life was. I remember boarding a ferry to Balboa Island and watching the water beneath, black as the space above the firmament, every bit as unsafe as it had been tender earlier that day with our saline, mixing into her water like it was only natural. And to the fathers who teach their sons to weep by example, thank you. <laughs> you drove the wrong direction down a one way, and a man, pissed drunk and dancing, called you a mother. As a young boy, I was, at first, afraid of the way he screamed. But you laughed it off knowing he didn't know which way he was going either. And I was surprised when you didn't make a life lesson out of it. We just were, alongside the rest of everyone who is, until they aren't. The arcade games and street lamps glowed every bit as warm as the nostalgia you'd imagine a director visualizing in a film about coming of age and experiencing a loss like that for the first time. A scene where no one speaks and you can see yourself as the kid holding his dad's hand while the camera falls from above the string of lights like Colorado Boulevard, face stuffed with blueberry cotton candy and pulling toward the claw crane to waste his money on grasping for more than what is already in his grasp. To the fathers who waste all of their money on claw games with their kids, knowing exactly what they've got in their grip, knowing that there is nothing less wasteful. Thank you. Some days are as broken as they are beautiful. As present a reminder of absence as the night you contrasted the loss of your father with a night out on the town with me. A funeral in the morning and elephant ears before bed. The claw descending to tickle your knee. I know I don't write you as often as I used to. But Jamie's compassion and Philando's daughter and Brandy's dad, and the way that you delighted in the same kind of orphan you saw in the mirror the day he helped you dye your beard black, all bubbled over like the white water in Star Valley's intermittent springs, albeit less rhythmic. But hopefully that'll change the more we learn that letting the dam break is a necessary means of loving others and ourselves toward healing. To the sons and the daughters whose fathers have been stolen, whether by others or by themselves or by the nature of the knowledge of good and evil, welcome to the family. An invitation extended with a broken hand that still hurts, but takes comfort in being held, living in tandem, pedaling toward unity and reunion to the ones speaking life. 
Thank you.